Hey guys, uh, wish you all a very good morning. And now is the time that we'll kick start with our uh, CP1. So before we begin, the regular sessions, uh, as you would see in your calendars as well, I think you can find that the regular sessions are going to be conducted from the next weekend onwards. Uh, and the time that we have kept for it is basically, I think, 11.31, if I'm not wrong. Just give me a second. Huh. So 11.30 to 1 o'clock is when we have kept it. Um, before we kind of begin, aaj kuch padhai ka specific, we're not going to be discussing specific about some chapters or anything whatsoever. The idea behind this orientation session is to just bring you up to pace to show you guys the path, which I believe uh, has worked for a lot of other people in the past and which can potentially work for you as well if you were to follow it in the nice way. Uh, specifically around, uh, surrounding CP1, uh, we have specifically seen that a lot of candidates end up having a lot of bias, sometimes positive, mostly negative. Uh, so we are going to be looking at a few of those biases, try to identify why those biases you know, actually exist. Uh, we'll also try to do our best to debunk whatever myths support around you know all of that uh, and finally we'll work on the best strategies that all of us should ideally follow in order to ensure that we can do our best so that april may term which is right now a lot i mean it's, it's considerably far ahead of us uh, as we speak we should ideally be very confident when we're sitting for this paper Ideally, if you're able to build confidence by December and depending upon how your results end up coming, uh, that, that varies from person to person, you may end up uh, doing some heavy lifting early on so that maybe, you know, you can pick up some other uh, subject as well. It, it, it might help your cause because April anyways is a is an extended term and you have a lot more time so that, you know, you can work towards it. Uh, one thing which, of course, is very impressive is to see a lot of people uh, uh, join so early. Abhi abhi exams khatam hoi, usually a lot of people end up requiring a lot of, you know, ki achha, ek dir to break lenge and then we'll get to it. Uh, but it's good that you start early because towards the end, you will end up realizing that if you in a minimalistic way, mein, if you're able to do significant heavy lifting without us actually realizing that weekend classes honge, uh, one and a half hours each, you have to devote three hours over and, you know, maybe up until December, up until your results, if you can devote like even if not much, maybe five, six hours a week. Uh, that is, you know, one hour a day uh, of consistent studies, you will realize that by the time we are there, by the time results have come, by the time uh, you guys end up being in this position, you have to decision uh, create karna as to, you know, what to do next, you will be in a much better position. So a few phases, I think I recognize uh, uh, a lot of you are already over here. So before we kind of delve deeper or before we kind of move forward, I want to know from you, I, I, I personally believe a lot of you might be new to the subject. Is there anyone who already knows this subject from the perspective that you have either thought of registering, studied a lot, but could not register? Yeah, you have registered it in the past as well. And you've set for the exam. Yeah, sir, there is someone who could not clear. So I just want to know from, you know, the people who are here, whatever 18, 20 people uh, among us who are here, if you can just let me know on the chat box or, you know, just thumbs up or hands up, whatever you want to do. Just so that I know the people who already are, you know, who already have appeared for the subject or who have done significant deep dive into the subject. So just on the chat box, if you can quickly let me know over the next one minute uh, so that I can, you know, uh, move accordingly. Is there anyone just, you know, the subject extensively? Veshali is one. Anyone else? I was studying for September time, but I didn't register. Deepika, Shivam, yes, I know Shivam, so definitely. <coughs> one specific thing. Um attempts away. Koine, this this one will be our last attempt, Shivam. Let's let's try and make and, and for all of us, let's try and uh, uh do that uh, in this specific attempt. We have a lot of time, so you don't have to really worry about it. Just follow the best uh principles. Uh, we'll also be in, you know, with time, we'll also end up having uh, midway mocks towards the end. Also, we'll try to have mocks. So uh, uh, from preparation perspective, we'll ensure that, you know, uh, there isn't really anything that ends up uh, uh, remaining in between. 
वन थिंग विच आई है लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल प्रियंका इन स्पेसिफिक जैसा आप विच विच सिचुएशन यू आर इन आई रियलाइज दैट लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल एंड अपंग इन दिस बोट वेर इन they end up studying but either do not register i have also seen people who have registered but you know they have not attempted or who have registered but who have not been able to give it uh, uh well so just thinking out loud pranga was it was it did it have to do with something at a personal level or was it because you ended up realizing that september was way too less a time in order to cover this aapke coverage ke end pe kuch tha ya aapne kuch aur subject diye uh, if you want to unmute and let us know or if if anything was else they'll help us help me set the a uh, pace and context as to why cp1 is you know so dreaded by a lot of people uh, like actually i had my cfa level 1 exam scheduled in yeah. august and i thought that mm-hmm. i'll be able to pull off but unfortunately my planning wasn't sufficient and so i had already registered for cfa l1 like uh, the registration starts 6 months ha ha it starts way back so i thought that i'll uh, that for cp1 and not register so i took the decision in july so that i don't end up being in both the boards and as a result i do not clear both the exams no that that uh, that makes sense uh besides that priyanka just just for the sake of clarity for other people as well i have also seen like i said i have seen a lot of people who midway end up realizing that you know it's 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 a little too much for them and they end up uh, not uh, registering Uh, but anyways yours was a different case apne register nahi kiya because of course you had something else as well and uh, wish you all the best that i think uh, results are upcoming uh, uh, one one and a half weeks ahead i think your level 1 so yeah all the best for that so now coming back to specifics about cp1 right two three things a lot of people who appear for this paper they come from wide variety right i have i have seen people jinke liye last paper hota hai not because they attempted towards the end but because sare paper clear ho jata hai but ye atak jata hai and You would be surprised to see the count of people who are in that category. SPSA level paper cleared हो गया है, but CP one अटका हुआ है. ऐसे category में भी there are a lot of people who end up falling, uh, and there are certain reasons behind it which we'll discuss. Uh, besides that, a significant majority of people who at least are giving it for the first time belong to the category of folks who have done uh, your CT series, जहाँ पे आपने CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2, practical, theoretical, Excel, R, uh, mathematics, statistics—all of these things is what you have done. And now you have come into this boat wherein CP1 and you know SPSA level papers are going to be uh, upfront. The kind of bias or the kind of thought process that you carry from over there, you will have to ensure that a significant chunk of that you have to leave behind. वहाँ पे अगर आपने सम सच्चे से बना रखे हैं, if you if you know whatever sums are there, if you know Black-Scholes model. you will be able to get yourself done with you know whatever question that you are appearing yourself for but sadly that's not the case with cp1 in specific in this subject you will end up realizing that in multiple cases and in multiple questions in specific aapko in depth jana padega not from a theoretical perspective or not from a problem solving perspective if you look at any single question paper and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to deep dive into one uh, paper deep dive is a exaggeration actually we are not going to deep dive but we are just going to touch the surface of a question paper to assess ki what is in specific asked in those uh, question paper and why is it difficult to crack the code so structurally i i am pretty sure a lot of you guys might already be aware just but just for the sake of it you will be having two papers in cp1 cp1 a part a paper paper a and paper b paper a can have anywhere between 7 to 11 12 questions uh, each question can have weightage of anywhere between 4 marks to you know 10 12 marks every question can have their sub question part 1 2 3 and wo do marks char marks whatever it is it can come so there you end up having anywhere between 8 to 12 questions and you know you have to uh, uh, juggle between multiple questions paper 2 is slightly different in the sense that there you will end up having two case studies each case study can have anywhere between 6 to 12 questions again the bifurcation or allocation of marks can be uh, you know between 4 to 15 historically what you have seen is paper 2 is where people end up struggling slightly more as compared to paper 1 scoring ends up becoming slightly more difficult in paper 2 as compared to paper 1 and unlike earlier papers jahan pe your weightage was 70 30 or something like that wherein you were significantly supposed to you know focus more on paper a and you could मतलब थोड़ा लीवे होता था पेपर टू में दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अवेलेबल ओवर हियर बिकॉज़ द एलोकेशन इज गोइंग टू बी 50-50 कंपेयरिंग इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द पेपर स्ट्रक्चर इट इट लुक्स मोर लाइक सीपी2 जहां पे अगेन यू हैव 100 मार्क्स के टू क्वेश्चन टू पेपर सेट्स 
पेपर ए पेपर बी बोथ फॉर फिफ्टी मार्क्स इच बट देर वॉट यूजली एंड सपनिंग इज नंबर वन स्कोर एबिलिटी हायर नंबर टू इफ वन ऑफ दी पेपर इज डिफिकल्ट यूजली पेपर ए इज मोर डिफिकल्ट तो पेपर टू थोड़ा इजी आता है but that is not what ends up happening over here if paper 1 is difficult you can expect paper 2 to be even more difficult so all of those things end up happening over here the reason why people struggle a lot with this paper is because pass marks in order to be on the safe zone you would really want to score like just say 65 pass marks has hovered anywhere between 56 to 62 63 64 bhi ja sakta hai but let's just say 62 is what we have seen over the last few terms to be the pass marks and the highest marks and this is something i have told in the past as well the highest score on a combined board round is paper 1 plus paper 2 checker 1 plus checker 2 matlab charo ka average mila ke the highest score that i have personally seen and i must have seen at least 100 120 150 plus candidates by now is 70 so the idea over here is that the highest marks that you can get is 70 the pass marks is 62 So 72, 70 से 62 का gap is just eight marks. So you end up having very little room to make errors in this specific situation as compared to any other papers. So anyone who has come from CM, CS levels, जहाँ पे you can hypothetically score hundreds, uh, uh, hypothetically score in nineties and even hundred. And there are multiple candidates who score, you know, eighty plus, eighty five plus. Few candidates who score ninety as well. That is highly unlikely situation to happen over here. so it is going to be extremely theoretical in nature agar main ek question paper kholu jo ki main karunga in the next 5 to 10 minutes you will end up realizing ki sir ye sab to basic hai matlab this is this looks very basic why is it so difficult to score when the entire content looks so basic and all of the things are something that you know at least 90% of the paper will come intuitively to you ki acha ha ye to mujhe pata hai they end up asking questions where in you know It it can be something like, "Acha, you have invested in equity, or also investing in debt. Why would you expect higher return on equity as compared to debt?" Now, it is obvious that you will expect higher return on equity as compared to debt because you are taking higher risk. So, when you take higher risk, you expect a higher return. Now, itna likhoge, to of course you will get one. But the same question can come for eight marks, or the same question can come for four marks. The same question can also come for twelve marks. So, what essentially makes this paper difficult is that people are unable to connect. Three dots, and these three dots I'll repeat at least a hundred times by the time your uh, examination is due. These three dots are connected. First one is you need to have sufficient theoretical knowledge, that is book work. जो आपके सामने दिख रहा है, I've seen a lot of people not know this, but all of those who have registered, पीछे पढ़ के ये वाला uh, uh, you know जो presentation which is in front of you, just ensure a hard copy of this is delivered to you, uh, uh, the one that you can see in front of you. It looks something like this. So ये presentation with all of these mind maps should be readily available with you this will help us with our book work or this will help us with our theoretical concepts or this will help help us help us with our knowledge building building concept so that is going to be the first thing uh second thing is to add it up with certain practical knowledge jo a lot of people will otherwise also have because multiple people i mean more than 60 70% of people who appear for it have some form of work experience you don't need to be Uh, uh, a master in anything that you're doing, but even if you have practical knowledge, if you can think practically, and to add on, if you have practical work experience, it's going to help you a lot. So you need to connect theory, you need to connect practicality. So ये तो हो गए दो चीजें. I've seen a lot of people struggle with this. या तो people theoretical उसमें चले जाते हैं कि अच्छा theory 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 from the book I'm going to write, but I'm not going to include any practical example or practical things. You end up losing half the marks. या फिर people end up thinking अच्छा ये तो बहुत practical question लग रहा है. Uh, this has got nothing to do with the book. They end up writing everything practical, and if if it's a ten mark question, you are attempting only for five because the theory from the book is missing. So th these are the two facets where people end up, you know, making mistakes. The third question or the third facet which you would have to prepare yourselves for is going to be critical reasoning or critical thinking or you know the I would call it you know the MBA kind of thinking, which CAT or those are like that. Not at that level, of course. But on similar uh, lines, so you need to also be able to develop critical reasoning in certain kind of questions. So, what kind of questions are those? I'm going to present to you. Abhi, while we discuss question paper, you will end up realizing that, acha, ye hota hai. This is what it is, and these are the things that I need to work upon. So, three things. If you are mastered the art of these three things, you will end up realizing that uh, you know your your sufficient. You mean you know you have sufficient bandwidth in order to be able to. tackle the paper so the three things i'm going to repeat is theory 
theory of course we're going to be doing every weekend so jab when we are when we are going to be dealing with all the chapters theoretical concepts me there won't be any doubt that is uh, you know my uh, guarantee to you second one is practical practical kaise aayega it will only come with practice until and unless you are able to devote at least 6 to 10 hours a week On a daily basis, ऐसा नहीं कि six to ten hours मतलब एक Saturday को बैठ के आपने दस घंटे पढ़ाई कर ली and next six days you're not studying at all. Rather than that, if you'll have to figure out how you can give one one and a half hours on a daily basis to the subject at least for the next three four months, and you will realize that you have sufficient capability of being able to generate a lot of practical points. Because when you're solving a lot of examples, you will end up having that uh, uh, connection of you know points, and you will realize अच्छा हाँ उस क्वेश्चन में ये सारे पॉइंट्स देखे थे सिमिलर एग्जांपल्स कैन बी इंक्लूडेड ओवर हियर सो दैट हॉट प्रोसेस कैन ओनली कम विद प्रैक्टिस द थर्ड वन इज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट आर्ट टू मास्टर व्हिच आई सेड क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग व्हाइल इट मे सीम लाइक वेरी इजी द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई हैव सीन हैपन इन मल्टीपल सिचुएशंस इज व्हेन वी ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन पार्ट 1 एंड पार्ट 2 व्हिच इज थ्योरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल जब आपका माइंड इज ओनली फोकस्ड ऑन अच्छा हम कौन से चैप्टर से एक्सट्रैक्ट करना है and kya examples mein dal sakta hu when you are thinking on these two lines you will end up realizing critical reasoning goes for a toss so people who have no background on cp1 if i ask you any specific question which focuses a lot on critical reasoning you might end up doing better so technically agar main aaj aapko ek question dikhaun on critical reasoning which which will just see probably the kind of answers that you will give is going to be slightly better but yahi question after completing 20 chapters or less is after completing the syllabus if i ask you the same question you won't be able to address it in the in, in a right way and that is a very big paradox for you to be able to crack ki aaj aap jis cheez mein better ho once you studied a lot your your mind is only going to think about acha kaun se chapter ke bare mein sochu kaun se examples ke bare mein sochu but that's not really the ask a significant portion around 15 to 20% of the question paper mostly in case of paper 1 tries to cover certain critical reasoning facets as well and that is where i have seen a lot of good students who have you know done a significant kind of work in the past end up struggling a lot so us pe hamara focus kaise rahega us pe we'll end up looking at a lot of specific questions in order to ensure that you can identify ki acha ha some critical reasoning is required over here and then we'll deal with those and fourth facet me bolunga ye teen cheez ko connect karna but the fourth dimension wherein we need to think is from here onwards for a lot of people for whom cp1 is going to be the first paper that you will give from after your ct series cp sp sa level papers may the first two words this define the entire direction of your question like if the first two words is describe the blah 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 or if the first two words is list the x y z or if the first two words is uh uh you know Uh, define a situation or whatever there can be or the, it can be comment or it can be relative merits or there can be certain key words which are engraved within the questions within the first three four words itself which end up determining the direction of your answer so if it's a list kind of a question you just need to sum matlab I mean, you just need to write down the bullets acha list the people who get affected in that situation you're not supposed to describe in that situation you're only supposed to list you list the people who get affected by this number 1 board of directors number 2 actuary number 3 uh, insurance company blah 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 so there you just need to write like you know single worded answers but if at all it's asked describe the relative merits it becomes a different question uh, uh, you know all together so those are again going to be things that we'll discuss over time wo aaj ke aaj nahi karna hai but you just need to be very careful about the first two three words or you know the key words in a specific question because that ends up determining the uh way in which we end up writing so ye cheeze hain jin pe aapko humko focus karna hai why don't i do this do this one thing very simply let's just look at a question paper and for a lot of you people it will be a very good pleasant surprise at least when you're beginning with this ki acha ha sir ye to bahut practical lag raha hai i think it looks very easy but as we go deeper into it because there are 38 or 39 chapters within this there's a chapter 0 as well when you are connecting the dots with all of that and when you are trying to you know keep at the back of your mind a lot of those things you will end up realizing ki acha ha it's 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 so much content that you need to you know not memorize but in a way remember that it ends up putting you in a spot where you are not really able to recollect the right things so yes to summarize there there's going to be a lot of content it's content heavy number 2 it's theoretical it's as theoretical as it can possibly get there you can't really expect even a single sum 
एसपी में भी सम्स आएंगे ऐसे लेवल में यूजुअली सम्स नहीं आते बट एसपी लेवल पेपर यू विल रियलाइज वेदर यू आर गिविंग एसपी 5 एसपी 6 इज एंटायरली सम 7 8 मे बी सम आते हैं सो देयर यू विल रियलाइज दैट अ लॉट ऑफ सम्स विल कम आई मीन 15 20% ऑफ द वेटेज कैन बी टुवर्ड्स सम वेयर इन यू कैन स्कोर फुल मार्क्स हियर जीरो सम्स इन द लास्ट एटलीस्ट 10 12 टर्म्स सो देयर इजंट गोइंग टू बी एनी नंबर क्रंचिंग दैट यू कैन डू सो यू कांट रियली एक्सपेक्ट दैट राइट आंसर निकालते यू विल गेट द फुल मार्क्स दीस आर गोइंग टू बी टू Uh, major things and the third thing for the sake of repetition 70 is the pass mark 60 to 63 is the safe zone so you have very little room for error on a single paper basis agar main batau i have seen one of the candidates even for 76 in one paper from one marker the second marker on the same paper ended up giving some 60 something so the mark variation in certain situations can also be very high one of the other question that comes a lot is sir do i need to write the exact same points that are there in the examiner's report of course you cannot do that how will you know what will be written in the examiner's report before it is published so exact same points nahi aayenge but you will have to ensure that a lot of keywords that you write matches the examiner's report so that you are able to secure the marks aapke marking will be done based on the keywords that you include So our focal point over the next three, four, five, six months is going to be to combine all of these things together, to combine technicality with practicality, with critical thinking, with keywords, and ensuring that all of these things can be clubbed together and put into your paper so that you can, uh, you know, do your best uh, uh, when when you are appearing for it. So let me just, uh, uh, you know, without too much clutter, abhi. it's just like you know a monologue that i have been giving i would rather show you guys a paper so that you can understand acha how this is you know slightly different and this is a comprehensive paper i usually try to show this during the first few sessions so that you can get a practical understanding of what to anticipate uh like i said this is something that has been discussed in the past as well so i find that this is one very comprehensive paper covers a lot of things ticks almost all the boxes that is usually covered in a cp1 paper पहला क्वेश्चन देखते आपको लगेगा कि सर ये इतना इजी क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन यू कॉल सीपी ऑन डिफिकल्ट एट ऑल सो द क्वेश्चन इट सेज एन इन्वेस्टर इज कंसिडरिंग इन्वेस्टिंग इन वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फंड्स नंबर वन इज यूके गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड फंड विद अ टारगेट रिटर्न ऑफ वन परसेंट यूके इक्विटी फंड विद अ टारगेट रिटर्न ऑफ थ्री परसेंट सो आई एम एन इन्वेस्टर आई एम कंसिडरिंग आई वुड इन्वेस्ट इन ईदर ऑफ दिस टू फंड या तो मैं यूके के गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड में डालूंगा या फिर यूके के इक्विटी फंड में डालूंगा इट्स अ फंड If I invest in government bond, I target a one percent return. If I invest in equity fund, I target a three percent return. Everything looks like plain vanilla common sense so far. Next up, they say the funds are exactly the same size. ठीक है मतलब दोनों one billion या hundred million whatever it is they're exactly the same size. Are both well diversified, so I can't even talk about diversification. And have the same fund manager, so there is one person who's handling both the funds. So it's not even that I can say अच्छा government bond might be done by someone who is exceptionally well and equity by someone who is not good so they have already told me three factors which i cannot use so i can't say i will expect higher because it is a bigger or smaller fund i can't say diversity i can't say expertise so ye teen points aapko use nahi karna hai that is what they are trying to tell you with this line next up they say suggest possible reasons why the predicted targeted returns for the two funds are different so like i said suggest is an important category possible reasons and we'll look at this as we move ahead suggest possible reasons is, is in itself a different category of question uh, which which comes way too often so suggesting the possible reasons is again something uh, uh which, which 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 we'll look at uh, as we move ahead why the why the predicted targeted return for the two funds are different now for obvious reasons one thing which probably will strike you immediately is because of course equities are more volatile equities uh, do not Uh, uh you know give guaranteed return something like you know a government bond and this is a uk equity and there we have government so if it's a government backed versus there's an equity fund for obvious reasons you will end up realizing that equity may you should end up getting a higher return historically be as a way so practically if you think about it you're able to come up with enough points at least at the back of your mind to be able to generate four marks right sadly if you write all of this you may not end up getting anything more than 1.5 to 2 so the struggle behind cp1 like i have said so far is not because questions in itself are difficult it is not because uh, uh you know question is something acha ye kya puch liya matlab black holes ka model puch liya or something like that it's not like that there will only be questions like this which you can identify with your reasoning itself i can bet you there will hardly be one or two questions over here 
जो आपको लगेगा कि आपको आता ही नहीं विच इज टोटली ऑफ योर टाइम जेंडर दैट इज नॉट गोन बी द केस बट द रीजन इज दैट ओवर हेयर लाइक आई सेट द फर्स्ट टू पॉइंट इज वॉट पीपल एंड अप नॉट रियलाइजिंग विच मीन यू नीड टू इसमें क्या करते हैं लोग पीपल एंड अप राइटिंग एवरीथिंग प्रैक्टिकल कि अच्छा हाँ यू दिस इज वॉलेटाइल ये 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 एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट आई शुड आइडियली बी एक्सपेक्टिंग हाई रिटर्न अनदर मिस्टेक विद पीपल एंड अप डूइंग इज दे विल पिक अप वॉलेटिलिटी एंड वॉलेटिलिटी के ऊपर एक ऐसे लिख देंगे दे विल राइट लाइक टेन डिफरेंट लाइन्स ऑन वॉलेटिलिटी द प्रॉब्लम ओवर हेयर इज वॉलेटिलिटी के बारे में लिखना इज ओनली गोइंग टू गिव यू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मार्क्स नाउ इफ यू राइट वन लाइन और टू लाइन और वेदर यू राइट अ पैराग्राफ और वेदर यू राइट यू नो योर एंटायर पेपर जस्ट फोकसिंग ऑन वॉलेटिलिटी ऑफ दिस थिंग यू विल ओनली गेट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव so those are the facets that you need to remember at the back of your mind you need to write a lot of variety of points and you also need to consider certain points which will come from your uh, book work or let's say which will come from your theory so theory to hum padhenge that is not the uh, uh, real problem over here but that connection needs to be built as you are kind of moving ahead so that is what ends up making uh, scoring over here slightly difficult although to be honest practically bolu by the time we are done with syllabus four out of four should be a uh you know reasonable target to have over here definitely 3.5 to 4 is a reasonable target if you are losing any mark over that matlab if you are getting anything less than 3.5 you are actually creating a you know problem for yourself as a moving ahead so that is what you need to understand from this kind of questions if question in itself is not going to be difficult answering is what is going to be challenging so you need to be able to identify how to answer these specific kind of questions right so this like i said will be a lot of technical things that we need to understand practical is something that you already know but up next if i talk about this one uh, a lot of you guys ye ye this is an entirely let's just say this is 75 to 80% technical if possible agar aap exceptional think karo by the time the syllabus is done you might be able to end up including a couple of examples over here as well so it says the regulation of a defined benefit scheme in a country requires that the assumption used to determine schemes provision for liabilities are the actual is best estimate of the future experience plus a margin for prudent so a defined benefit scheme in a country what they say is that any assumption you put ki maan lo agar aapne assumption liya about let's say uh, interest rate for discount or let's say if you are putting in an assumption on when the people retire ki acha people will end up retiring at 65 so 65 se aapka cash outflow jana chalu hoga so whenever you are taking any assumption over there it should be based on best estimate of the actuary plus certain margin that you need to add for prudence now again practically agar aap socho this makes sense right if if let's just say you are investing 1 lakh rupees in the stock market how will you predict returns you will say acha historically nifty has given 12% let me add a margin which means you will probably reduce over here you will say acha historically 12 diya mere ko 10 to de hi dega so adding plus a margin can sometimes also mean reducing but idea over here is that you need to be conservative in your estimates going forward so you will use best estimate best estimate kaise aayega looking at the past looking at the predictions looking at experts report and all of those things and you will add or reduce a margin in order to ensure that you are prudent so that is what they are saying and it makes total sense of course a lot of these things will be dealt later on outline how sensitivity analysis can be used to determine the appropriate margin for prudence now this is an entire question based on segment 5 of your uh, reading abhi ke liye i won't say that this is practically like understanding the background is of course clear but how will you use sensitivity analysis i think sensitivity analysis ke thoda bahut apne cb1 mein dekha hoga cb1 uh, but that is not going to be enough over here cb1 ka answer likh ke aao you'll probably get 0.5 or 1 but there are certain things that we will need to learn in order to ensure that we can tackle it for four marks as well so this is like the first one was practical heavy the second question in itself is uh, technical heavy so you need to ensure that you have sufficient book work knowledge how to use sensitivity analysis analysis and what are the points to be included in order to make this an answer wherein you can score full marks or you know at least a, a very good marks so that again will come from that thing so like i said three things right technical practical and the third one what uh, uh, that i said was critical reasoning technical practical ke examples aapko mil gaye let me show you a critical reasoning question as well jahan pe technical practical will probably be 10 10% critically thinking is is going to you know make a lot of difference yeah on the first page itself if i go to this one and this is where you know a lot of people struggled when the question had come i have shown this multiple times in the past as well 
So someone who has already had a look at this, I would request you not to address this. But for others, I want to keep the dais open. And I'm just going to read out the question. I'm going to highlight the major areas that you need to ensure you can uh, 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 rather you, you, you need to focus on those areas whom I highlight karunga. Base is that I want you to come up with certain points which you think can be relevant in this situation. And like I said, a lot of people will end up being slightly better off over here today as compared to what they will be in the future. So let's just read it out. Read this question for once. It says an insurance company has just reviewed its pricing assumption. So insurance company, what they do, they of course sell policies and they price the policies and they reserve, hold certain reserves against those policies. There is this insurance company who is reviewing their pricing assumption that they have set. Following the review, the company revised the annual uh, renewal expense pricing assumption on one of its product to 60 per policy. Okay. So a insurance company, they annually price their product. Right now, what they have done is they have revised. Right now, they have said that for renewal, I will I will charge 60 per policy. So earlier, I had some other expense. Earlier expense was different. Going forwards, I will charge 60 per policy. Now, one key element over here is per policy, which a lot of people miss out. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to help you out a little over here. So per policy, I highlight kar diya and I want you to think critically about it. Next up, they have said the average annual renewal expense for this product over the recent years has been 85 per policy. So what they have said is last few years, the actual average used to be 85 per policy. So now I think it, it becomes a little more clear, but look at the keywords over here very, very, uh, you know, deeply. Like I said, it's a critical reasoning question. So every word over here can end up creating an impact in the answer, which you may not necessarily be able to think. So you need to think very deeply about it. And like I've said, seven may say five takka justification you can do. It's a it's a question that that's come from a chapter called expense. Two three marks ka wo technical theoretical knowledge will will build as time comes. But like I've said, you you guys are in a position where for five marks you will have to work right now. But like, we'll not be discussing anything specific in the next seven eight months, which will help you to be able to crack that five marks. Two marks ka help hoga from the book, but five marks ke liye aaj jo knowledge hai, four five months later also it will be the same knowledge. It will all be about how well you are able to connect the dots. So I'll repeat the question and look at the keywords over here very, very carefully. There is an insurance company. They're pricing their assumption. Uh, 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 they're, they're reviewing their pricing assumptions. They reviewed and they said that from now onwards for each policy, I will charge 60 as my expense for renewal. Historical recent average has been 85 for each and every policy. So historically, the actuals were 85 per policy. The question is discuss possible reasons why annual renewal expense assumption has been set to less than average annual expense over the recent year and for seven marks. So what they're asking you over here is the first two marks of technicality, which like I've said, we'll discuss on top of that. I want you to come up with five, six various reasons why you think it could have happened. And a bad thing to do over here is picking up a point and making paragraphs out of it. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to come up with five to six different reasons why you think ki historically my actual 85 tha, but going forwards, I'm going to be charging 60. So why do you think it can happen? I think I've already started getting answers. There's one that just came and just read it out. Uh, new business volumes and labs rate have changed. So I think that's a, that's an absolutely valid answer. And that is what you need to think about. New business volumes have changed. And the lapse rate must have changed as well. So I would suggest this could be a blue points may bifurcate for that will help your cause a lot. The first point you said was new business volumes have changed, which means you talked about the per policy thing, which I was talking about, right? So let's just say if I say man lete, let's just assume Mira uh, uh, expense is one million fixed. One million fixed expense hai mira. Sorry. My, my expense last three years was also 1 million. This year also it is 1 million, right? 
पहले आई यूज टू सेल से सपोज टेन थाउजेंड पॉलिसी टेन के पॉलिसी नाउ आई स्टार्टेड सेलिंग से सपोज फिफ्टीन के पॉलिसीज This year onwards, my target is that I'll be able to sell 15 because I have, I have sufficient reason to believe I'll be able to do it. For obvious reasons, my per policy expense earlier was whatever hundred something or thousand something, but now it will go down to 60. So here, the number or the denominator might have changed is something that a lot of people were not able to connect the dots when the question actually came. So per policy is a key word over here is something that I, that a lot of people end up uh, missing out. तो जैसे पर पॉलिसी को आपने कैच कर लिया एंड यू हैव सेड दैट द डिनोमिनेटर माइट हैव इंक्रीज व्हिच मींस द पॉलिसीज दैट यू आर सेलिंग माइट हैव इंक्रीज एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ व्हिच द एक्सपेंसेस गोन डाउन सो दैट इज वन पॉइंट टू यू व्हाट मोर कैन यू थिंक अबाउट ओवर हियर व्हाट व्हाट एल्स कुड बी द रीजंस एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ व्हिच कुड हैव हैपेंड एंड व्हेन यू आर डीलिंग विद दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हाट यू आर सपोज्ड टू डू इट डू इज ए किया उसको एग्जॉस्ट किया लाइक यू पिक्ड अप अ पॉइंट ओवर हियर द पॉइंट वाज डिनोमिनेटर माइट हैव गोन अप इफ इफ आई से इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एवरेज टर्म्स Once you have spoken about it, once you have exhausted it, put it at the back burner. Don't even think about it. Think about something new. So tell me something other than increase in this, which could potentially lead to the per policy expense going down. Economies of scale, you can say, but I would suggest if you are economies of scale, ki baat kar rahe ho, no, nee, actually it's it's a valid point. Sorry, my bad. Economies of scale is a valid point. So you need to elaborate by saying that earlier you used to deal with you know lesser number. Now that you have scaled up, you end up being in a position wherein the overall fixed expense uh, going uh, uh, goes down. But in this kind of things, just be a little, uh, I would say, smart about it. If the first point that you're writing is new business volumes, the second point should not be economies of scale. Economies of scale should now be sixth or seventh point. Beach me itne chiza bhar do ki economies of scale ends up looking like a different point. So I have gotten my first point. First point mil gaya. I have gotten my let's say sixth point also. Because I'll write it in the sixth. अगर आप sixth की जगह यही लिख दोगे तो problem होगा कि you will get zero point five for both. But if you write in first and uh, uh, sixth, you will end up getting probably one one for both of them. To make product more attractive and competitive. So yes, you are intentionally making a loss so as to increase the penetration. तो आप इंटेंशनली यू आर लूजिंग आउट यू यू वांट टू इंक्रीज द सेल्स इंक्रीज द सेल्स कैसे कर सकते हो या तो प्राइस कम करो या फिर मार्केटिंग करो ओवर हियर वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू आर डूइंग इज रिड्यूसिंग द प्राइस सो एज टू मेक इट अ लिटिल मोर अट्रैक्टिव सो दैट इज अगेन अ वैलिड पॉइंट आई गॉट ऑन थ्री पॉइंट्स व्हाट एल्स इफ यू थिंक स्लाइटली लाउडर ऑन दिस द थर्ड पॉइंट कैन लीड टू फोर्थ पॉइंट एज वेल चेंज इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉलिसी सम एक्सपेंस बोर्न बाय द पॉलिसी होल्डर आम first line was first line was okay the there, there may be some changes in the terms as a result of which it could have happened uh, some expenses bone can possibly be there as well okay to cover the fixed cost especially it until and unless you explain it will go in the wrong direction because mai badha nahi raha cost mai kam kar raha changes in the prudence of assumption that's a good good point so the fourth point for me is changes in the assumption Reduction in taxes and taxes right now whoever has written tax is going to be one point जो आपको लगभग अपने पेपर में दस जगह लिख के आना पड़ेगा tax is a point which will give you zero point five marks in ten different locations so taxes might have changed as a result of which it has gone down is again something which is possible might be uh, uh, errors in previous review so पहले आप error कर रहे थे as a result of which you are revising that error and now you have gone that so I have got on my seventh point. increased free surplus it's a it's a way to technical point absolutely correct but don't expect people to come up with those points now but after you have done chapter 32 33 if you come up with that it of course makes a lot of sense so increase in free reserves is is like a, a very advanced thinking for now so i'll park it it is a valid seventh point but i'm not going to explain it just yet the regulations might require you to do that in certain cases regulations can cap expenses for example a practical thing which you guys being in the industry might know is regulation usually caps the commission ki aap kitna commission pay kar sakte ho main under the table ki baat nahi kar raha at least uh, what you can reflect is uh, in a lot of cases a regulator would want to say that okay the commission is capped at 20 25% whatever it is uh, for multiple reasons which we'll look at later on when we're dealing with uh, when we're dealing with it so regulation ends up becoming my eighth point anything else i think eight points are more than 
change in capital requirement is actually a valid point as well so that becomes my ninth point economies of scale like i, I think economies of scale we have covered earlier and again this this is like the last point that i was looking at outsourcing of certain activities aap us mein ho aap sab kuch in house kar rahe the all of a sudden you want to outsource some of the activities like let's just say claim handling instead of hiring someone in the us and paying them 1 million dollars or whatever 100000 dollars in salary hire someone in india he will do it for 10% of the cost so you can outsource certain uh, activities that you were doing in house to maybe outsource uh, or to some other entity and as a result of it uh, you know you 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 you'll get the uh, benefits economies of scope is a good one uh, but sadly just letting you know practically it might not give you much uh it's it's actually a valid point but economies of scope likhoge agar aapke do examiner hai one might give you marks the other one may not anyways we have covered sufficient points we have 10 different points over here jisko agar aap sufficient depth mein likho you have done the 5 to 6 mark working similarly one two marks ka like i have said it will be some technicalities which you will need to include and with that everything combined together you end up being in a position where you have done sufficient justification for this mark uh, for this question so like i have said ye same question if i end up asking someone who has studied the entire subject who has studied the entire syllabus who has done whatever hard work is needed and who you know has acha expense chapter ka sab kuch aata hai within uh, i mean i mean some of you might know who have gone to expense chapter like uh, uh, priyanka or maybe anyone else that you have direct expense indirect expense ye wo so you end up going into so much technicality that you'll only think about acha us book jo expense chapter hai usme se relevant points nikal ke main yahan pe kaise dalu if you are too stringent about it you will not be able to write this points and like i said this is the fallacy like a lot of people who end up doing a lot of hard work fall prey to these kind of questions wherein theory or practicality is only going to lead you so far here it's a discuss the possible reason question and one thing if aap apne liye homework karna last 4 5 terms ke question papers nikalna and see how many times you see this acha let's do this right now let's see how many times it has come over here suggest possible reasons suggest possible reasons discuss possible reasons so out of 5 question the three questions are give me possible reasons why it would have happened let's see more outline the options explain the insurance three in itself was a lot <clears throat> explain why explain the examples explain how principle suggest possible reasons suggest reasons which is again the same so i got in my fourth question over here see this is on similar lines abhi crack nahi hoga but this is kind of similar so suggest the type of this thing which will be done so i think that's the fifth one i'm sorry if i lost count fifth year sixth fifth fourth year fifth whatever it is suggest with reasons sixth yeah so that's that so these six questions which are there in front of you which ask you suggest possible reasons is where you need to actually do this thing that you need to come up with unique variety of points ki acha iski wajah se bhi ye ho sakta hai and then explain and then you know because of this also it can happen so that kind of critical reasoning question if there is six of that you can i mean yourself guess that you know it's, it's a significant weightage if you look at the total allocation level i think it will be somewhere between 50 to 15 marks or 16 20 whatever marks that is allocated towards that so critical reasoning backed up with your theoretical knowledge is also going to end up being a significant portion of your uh, overall content right so all in all will like i said will go with chapters will go with a lot of questions as we are going to uh, you know move ahead but ultimately what is going to be make or break in the in the cp1 paper is going to be these three things which i am repeating only for the second or third time right now but i'll bore you guys by the time you're you're done because i'll repeat this 100 times and in the answers that you give i have seen over the last 6 7 terms bahut baar repeat karta hu people end up getting bored but when you write answers you still miss out on these three things you need to be practical enough you need to be technical enough and you need to have this out of the box thinking you need to be able to come up with unique variety of points not just pick up a point and go very deep in it which is what you used to do earlier ki pehle agar ek question hai on black shows you just pick up black shows uh, uh, you know solve it and then you move ahead profit testing do that move ahead 
same goes for anything else as well markov chain or whatever it is so you are subconsciously aligned to be able to do only that right you need to break that chain and move forwards and come up with the solutions and one more thing was yaha pe jo answers the matlab five people have combined and given me the 10 solutions or or 10 practical reasons exam mein you have to come up with those 10 different points uh, uh, you know all by yourself and that's not as easy as you would otherwise think it to be right now so that reasoning skills develop hone mein it will take some time uh, but like i said that is going to be one very very major aspect to build when we are dealing with questions and one more thing like the like just to supplement it जैसे आपने देखा है सजेस्ट पॉसिबल रीजन इट इज वन ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट फेवरेट दीज डेज लाइक द लास्ट फ्यू टर्म्स इसमें आपको छह सात दिन के होंगे एवरी टर्म यू बी एबल टू फाइंड सिमिलर नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन स्मार्ट पीपल टू पास लाइक अगर स्मार्ट पीपल आई वोट वॉन्ट टू से स्मार्ट नॉन स्मार्ट बट सर्टन पीपल वोट स्ट्रीट स्मार्ट राइट यू कैन थिंक आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स यू कैन कम अपथ रीजनिंग बिहाइंड दिस यू कैन कनेक्ट अट अच्छा हाँ ये इकोनॉमिक रीजन हो सकता है Uh, economies of scale or such as someone said economies of scope and all of those things they don't just want those people they also want that someone who has done sufficient hard work because like i said ye aapko samajh mein aa gaya hoga like like the first part of it but i'm pretty sure you will not be able to deal with it this is something that you can do only after spending at least 10 to 15 hours on chapter 17 18 and 19 of the syllabus after having understood what is required in sensitivity analysis there will be a lot of questions uh, which i can tell you right now जो एक सिमिलर फॉर्मेट में होंगे जहां पे आपको एक फॉर्मेट एट द बैक ऑफ योर माइंड यू हैव टू कैरी दैट फॉर्मेट लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ इट्स अ इन्वेस्टमेंट स्ट्रेटजी क्वेश्चन देयर इज अ वे टू गो अबाउट इट कि वो एक स्ट्रक्चर है वो स्ट्रक्चर को फॉलो करोगे तो यू विल गेट फुल मार्क्स इफ यू डोंट एंड अप फॉलोइंग दैट स्ट्रक्चर यू आर इन फॉर अ यू नो सिग्निफिकेंट लॉस एट में से टू थ्री मार्क्स इज जस्ट फॉर द स्ट्रक्चर कि अच्छा यू हैव रिटर्न इट इन दिस वे यू विल एंड अप गेटिंग दोस मार्क्स इफ यू डोंट राइट इन इट इन दैट वे यू विल अननेसेसरीली लूज सर्टेन मार्क्स एंड दैट गोस फॉर दिस आल्सो दिस सेंसिटिविटी एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन इफ यू जस्ट merge all the papers together to control f sensitivity you will find every alternate term you will see on an average sensitivity analysis ka question come up so it ends up becoming a kind of question which is very repetitive in nature right so you need to do a lot of hard work over there jahan pe aapko 15 questions ko analyze karke you will have to come up with this uh, conclusion that okay this is the way i need to write a sensitivity analysis ka question this is the way that i need to solve a investment strategy ka question and uh, uh, you know this is the way that you solve a defined benefit or a defined contribution scheme kind of a question which again is a significant uh, uh, allocation in terms of your overall syllabus so that again ends up becoming something that you need to uh, of course we need to not just you will need to work together as we move ahead and finally ab jaise ye wala question if you see explain how principles of pooling of risk will end up working now of course you know what pooling of risk might be in terms of insurance that you know law of large number works and all of that but if you are trying to explain the entire principle for four marks you need to ensure that you have sufficient depth of knowledge so that in the next, in, in you know 6 to 7 minutes you can just uh, uh, write everything that is supposed to be written over here and then move forward uh and then like just to show you guys abhi aapko shayad samajh mein nahi aaya someone who has already looked at it will end up realizing these kind of questions are also there where you have to do a lot of work and it is just for five marks and it is perhaps this is like the difficulty level 8 to 9 in terms of on a, on a scale of 1 to 10 this is very very difficult kind of a question wherein a lot of people end up struggling so one more thing the final conclusion that i want to portray over here is in every question paper for that matter you will have to identify for yourself kaun se aise areas hain jahan pe losing even 0.5 marks is a criminal uh, uh, you know uh, wrong thing that you are doing and you will also have to identify certain questions jahan pe even scoring 1 1.5 is a good thing so just to tell you guys over here if in this question out of 5 you are able to get even 1.5 it's a good score it's a justifiable score that is why like i said कि 70 आना भी बहुत डिफिकल्ट है बिकॉज इसमें नो मैटर हाउ मच टाइम एफर्ट यूर स्पेंडिंग एग्जाम वेलिटी में क्लिक हुआ तो यू विल गेट द मार्क्स इफ नहीं क्लिक हुआ यू विल नॉट सो 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव इज अ रीजनेबली गुड स्कोर इन दिस क्वेश्चन एंड लेट मी टेल यू टू सरप्राइज यू गाइज माई परस्पेक्टिव दिस इज माई पर्सनल परस्पेक्टिव इवन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इज नॉट अ गुड स्कोर यू शुड आइडियली गेट अ फोर ओवर इयर बट थ्री इज अ पथेटिक स्कोर टू गेट इन दिस स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन सो your efforts during the exam or your efforts during mocks or your efforts during preparation is also going to be one thing that you need to remember you have to be you have to ensure that you get very good 
एट आइडेंटिफाइंग दिस क्वेश्चन की अच्छा हाँ ये वाला वो क्वेश्चन है जहां पर मुझे फोर लाना है Anything below that, trust me, your your wo, jo na, pass mark 60 hai, 59 aaya, wo sab questions ki se hota hai. So that is what you need to be able to address that okay over here 3.5 is a bad score and 3 is a poor score and 4 is a okay score to get. Similarly for this one as well, once you have done sufficient hard work, 3, 3.5 is a good score, 4 should be your target. Uh, going forward, like this, like I said, right, this can click on the exam, may not click on the exam. Five is a reasonable score. Anything above five is a good score. Below that, again, you are coming in for a toss. So this critical reasoning is also oh, sorry. This uh, uh, you know uh, strategy building is again something which is going to end up uh, being extremely critical. Of course, we'll work together uh, alongside each other in order to identify. Acha kahan pe kya karna hai. But this thinking also uh, needs to be developed. You know, as you're uh, uh, moving forwards. So your strategy book also needs to hold one incremental uh, this thing. Now, final remarks, which I start maybe by Bultang, but by the time I repeat it in the bit in, in, in somewhere in between, like after four or five classes, I've realized people have already lost the track and they say sir, up to bot late over here. So one thing which I would humbly request all of you to do is see, I don't know what is going to come up in the uh, uh, next term. All of us are aware of the of, of whatever uh, things have been told to us, but for your own sake. Try to ensure that whatever is being discussed in class, other if there is anything that we are talking about or anything that we are discussing, let's just say next class onwards, I would like to believe that sorry, next weekend onwards, Saturday onwards, we are going to pick up chapter zero, which is on ACC, actual control cycle. Once we are dealing with that chapter, worst thing you need to do is sit with a pen and paper so that if you believe that there is anything that I'm discussing, which you may not remember, which you will definitely not remember after four or five days, you're jotting that down. Second thing you need to do is after the class is over and before you know you start up with the next class or you start off with the next week, you need to ensure you're going through it in seclusion all by yourself and preparing your own notes. ECB seniors unka notes mat mangna. This is not going to help your cause. And I'm repeating it right now because after five classes, when I repeat, the people who have not started, they, they're not able to, you know, uh, cope with that. Ki, cover and then move ahead, it's not going to be possible. So this is one effort that you need to put by yourself and not just for CP1, but for SPSA level paper as well. Today, it might seem very childish. Trust me, in the matlab, April, ka, July, mein, when the results will come, you all are going to come and thank me. So this one thing that you all need to ensure you follow is you prepare your own notes in your own words for certain specific things, right? specific you will end up realizing with time so time to time so for example over here this question which i've said is very repetitive so sensitivity analysis what is what is the thing to remember how your answer should be structured all of those things should be jotted down in terms of a note in your own words when we are dealing with chapter 17 18 and 19. similarly acc pay i'll give you certain things which we'll discuss uh, over the next class so certain points needs to be remembered, needs to be remembered and needs to be, uh, you know, portrayed in your own words, in a word document or however you feel comfortable uh, in, in, in form of your own notes. And uh, like I said, I'll maybe repeat it later, but it's not going to help your cause if you start it after four or five sessions, because then it will be too far. So that is one thing. And one final remark would be a lot of, you know, information bombarded to you right now. One more thing which we'll be doing uh, with this is he, in terms of your paper two, paper two, ka, the fact is there isn't really like anything under the sun can come over there, right? Uh, April 23, uh, the theme of the question in, in case of April 23 was, I think, uh, climate change. September 23, repeated, they asked again climate change, this time not for 50 marks, but for 60 marks. So climate change pair. Last four terms, agar aap dekho, out of four terms, three times they came up with climate change. Immediate next term, uh, which was April uh, 2024, they came up with gender gap. Historically, once they came up with a 60 mark question or a 50 mark question on mortgage, uh, 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 you know, uh, different types of mortgage loans. So the fact over there is that in terms of paper two, almost everything can come under the radar. So when we are dealing with specific chapters and when we are dealing with specific concepts, like let's just say in class two or three, I'm going to pick up, let's just say inflation. Uh, how is inflation related to currency movement and, you know, 
what happens to interest rate inflation currency and all of these things together jab hum wo concept ke sath when we are going to be dealing ensure that you are noting all of those things down very well because it will help you not just in case of paper 1 but in case of paper 2 as well wo sare understanding has to be there so that you guys are in a position wherein you can deal with questions in a better way so these are going to be the major things that we need to have as takeaways for you i open the forum for q and a but the sad part about today is that at 12 i have something else so i need to move on to that but if you have any question which you think i can address in the next couple of minutes more than happy to do so and don't worry about it when the regular classes will happen i'll open up the floor for like 5 10 minutes i'll be here as long as you are uh, uh, you know i've, I've ensured that you are satisfied with your answers so then i'm not going to move today sadly i'll have to move that is why you know it's a, it's a relatively smaller uh, i i won't call it a class it's just a session an information session as to what you guys should be prepared for over the next 5 to 6 months so ye sare best practices hain agar zyada kuch yaad nahi bhi hai to doesn't really matter you don't have to remember everything you just need to understand that okay this is the direction that we need to move into specifics will of course be dealt with uh, in the classes right so that's it from my end guys uh, any specific questions more than happy to address otherwise i'm going to see you guys uh, at 11:30 from the next saturday or chalo guys take care in the dts lecture app i saw three tabs recorded live september november 2024 could you help with the order of lectures and the order of study uh wo i'll 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 figure out how and how it is you know how it is structured and then i'll i'll need to get back to you so that is something that admin team ends up uh, looking more into so wo mujhe dekh ke aapko batana padega but one thing which i would recommend is anyone who is going for recordings as well ensure you are looking at the latest one ki matlab although a lot of things do not change but of course with every term there is an evolution uh with which you know you have to ensure you are going for the so if there is this uh, cascading question we'll ensure that you know it gets taken care of uh one way or the other we'll ensure it gets communicated uh netik and uh, abina मैं टीम से बात कर लूंगा आज एंड आई लेट यू नो दैट दिस इज हाउ इट विल बी सर सम ऑफ अस हैव कॉल्ड इट ऑन सैटरडे इफ यू कुड प्लीज एंश्योर दैट द रिकॉर्डिंग्स आर अपलोडेड ऑन द सेम डेट सेल्फ आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट वंशिका बट सैडली दिस इज समथिंग दैट एडमिन टीम टेक्स केयर ऑफ बट आई विल डू माय बेस्ट टू एंश्योर दैट द रिकॉर्डिंग्स आर अपलोडेड ऑन द सेम डे फ्रॉम माय एंड सो दैट यू नो बिफोर द नेक्स्ट डे दैट यू आर कमिंग यू आर यू आर एबल टू यू नो वॉच द रिकॉर्डिंग सो मैं फ्रॉम माई एंड आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट एंड वन मोर थिंग टू एवरी वन वॉज कम फॉर दिस इवन इफ यू आर इन अ पोजिशन जहाँ पे लेट जैसे यू फील लाइक अच्छा कुछ मिस हो गया नाउ आई गॉन बैक एंड आई ओनली वॉच रिकॉर्डिंग डोट डू दैट इवन इफ समथिंग हैज बिन मिस आउट यू शुड कम ज्वाइन लाइव इट इट वोट बी ऐसा कि यू विल नॉट गेट एनी थिंग यू नो एट ऑल मतलब देर माइड बी अशन वेर इन ओके इफ आई एम टीचिंग समथिंग एंड लेट जैसे ए बी सी डी पढ़ाया ई से स्टार्ट करूंगा तो ऑफकोर्स यू विल मिस आउट ऑन समथिंग but a lot of the sections segment a certain chapters they are not really interconnected to one another so you end up realizing as you move ahead ki even if you have let's say missed out chapter 1 2 3 you can start with chapter 4 so it's not really going to be that big a uh, challenge so try to uh, come up for life to the extent that is possible for you thanks a lot uh, vanshika thanks a lot disha these two questions are pending at my end uh, classes ka you will be communicated and uh, Saturday का upload का I will definitely ensure that I try my best so that it's uploaded on the same day. चलो guys, I'll see you guys over the next week and we're going, we're 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 in for something uh, crazy. It's it's going to be a long journey from over here. But if you stick together, I'm pretty confident that by the time it ends, you will be like sir, we are confident. Of course, what happens, it happens. But I'll put you in a position wherein, or at least I'll try to put you in a position wherein you feel confident before you sit for this uh, massive paper, right? चलो guys, take care. Bye.